Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2014 is brought to you by NCIX.com, your source for great technology, selection, and service, along with Corsair Memory and Western Digital. So we're here with DJI, a brand I actually hadn't heard of before, but they are drawing a lot of attention here at the show, flying around their Phantom 2 Vision quadricopter. This is a high-performance quadricopter, and of course the obvious comparison is going to be drawn to the AR drone. But it's a little bit different from the AR drone. So rather than using sonar to detect its height, it actually has a different sensor system to detect not only its height, but also its distance away from you, which is allowing it to stay stable even in this crowded hall. It also supports Wi-Fi controls, okay, so that's similar, as well as first-person view, as well as taking video and photos, but the quality has been stepped up to correspond to the increased price. So it's around $1,200, but it can go as far as 300 meters away from the controller with the Wi-Fi extender that you see here on the controller. You control it in a more traditional hobbyist style, so you move it kind of back and forth, up and down, and I think they're about to take it away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover a couple of the things on here. So there's a motor control controlled camera, a battery indicator, and LEDs on the bottom of the unit that allow us to orient it. Go ahead and take that away. Thank you very much. The iPhone on the top of it can be used to see it in first person view and it can also be used to control things like camera settings, like exposure for example, to make sure that you get the best footage that you possibly can. This guy's got a GoPro Hero 3 mounted on it, so it's a little bit on the different side. I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys a bit of a better look at it here. It makes Actually, all things considered, not a ton of noise, but I wouldn't expect to be recording any audio with uh, the camera that's on this thing. So the main objective here, because it's so expensive, it's not necessarily for the casual consumer, but for RC enthusiasts, just over $1,000 might not seem that unreasonable for a remote control vehicle, especially one that includes a 1080p uh, 14 megapixel camera. But then again, guys, there are all kinds of different customers in this world. Some pros might want to use this, but others pros might want to step up to the 8-rotor S1000. This one they're not flying around in here, but due to its 8-rotor design and carbon fiber lightweight construction, this guy can hold a Canon 5D including, look at this, there's a gimbal on it as well, for stabilized aerial footage. And what's the maximum range on this guy? Do you happen to know off the top of your head? Um, it's still actually under testing, so we'll release that once we release the product. Well, there you go, guys. Either way, the booth is uh, drawing a ton of attention here. Don't miss any of our CES 2014 coverage, guys. Our trip to the show is powered by NCIX, your choice for great technology selection and service, as well as Corsair and Western Digital.